what's wrong with be, being a grown-up and still playing? What's wrong with dressing up and, and you know, playing games and being silly? Uh, it just seems to me that's an eminently sensible way to go about life. I mean, to the extent that everything is a contrivance or uh, to the extent that all of our public selves are personas, you know, roles we have chosen for ourselves, what better than to, to choose a, a spectacularly flamboyant role? and just play it out for a bit. <laughs> show us a picture of a cat, we know what it is. Don't show me a duck and try and convince me that it's a cat. We know what steampunk is and it's, it's quite obvious. But you do get the people who see you coming and then all of a sudden they are totally blind to the rest of the world. And we'll just walk yeah. past you. <laughs> You've got a wee acronym for that, haven't you? SEP vision. Yes. <clears throat> Someone else's problem. <laughs> Oh, well, I'm afraid of popping my clogs in the sense of, well, I'm afraid of doing it um, without kind of prior warning, or I'm afraid of doing it in a sort of protracted and unpleasant fashion. But um, no, I'm not afraid of anything else, not really, no. You're in a place where if you get too close to this ocean, it could take you, and... Ah, but I think I'd be all right with it. It would be a nice place to, uh, to be washed away and to just... Um, get to the end of something and all of a sudden just, just disappear. Just disappear into the ocean and not be seen again. A bunch of hippies came here as a, looking for an alternative lifestyle. Um, and I was one of those fairly um, cheerful uh, people that don't do much work and smoke lots of dope. Um, which is not true, but it's, it's there were some elements of truth to it. Yeah. Really? If you wouldn't like it done to you, don't do it to anyone else. Yeah. It's quite simple. Yeah. You yeah, know? and and how yeah, what you put out what it's always you read, funny what when you I'm you at saw, the dentist, really you know, is. and I'm paying an expensive amount to get my teeth back, so I'm like <sighs> I wish your I wish your roof leaked. <laughs> <laughs> it's the equivalent, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Two grand. What? For that? So here we have a small number of sheep. We've actually got 60 ewes and lambs. And most of the ewes I have an awareness of which one's which because there's only like 24 that we keep for breeding and then some go off to market from last year's lambs and then these little lambs that are growing up, I'm sorry, will go to market. And some we make into sausages. Delicious. You can reduce that impact by not not killing things for the sake of killing things. Like no. Not killing stuff for fun, but acknowledging that if it sustains your body, yeah. and allows you to live well and live another day, then that's okay. Yeah. Look, I'm not opposed to people doing yeah. stuff like that. I'm not opposed to hunters kind of and stuff. Yeah. Acknowledgement that you, you just take what you need. Yeah. You, you don't have to take for greed or deplete a whole resource. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, because yeah, there's a lot of talk about if everyone went vegan, that um, it would, you know, be really bad for the world too. So, yeah, I don't really know. I just do personally for what, what's good for myself at the time. What yeah, I think the fact that people voted for Trump is, is, not, is not a symptom of um, the fact that people have gone mad and want, and want a madman to run it. They, they knew very well they were voting for a, for a madman, but the fact is he was attacking the political establishment in America. And the political establishment has dealt the working class, um, done them to death over the last 40 years, especially through neoliberalism. They have been crushed and smashed and their standards of living have been driven down. And no matter who they vote for, you vote for Republicans, you vote for Democrats, you get the same old shit again and again and again, election after election after election.